In today's video, I want to talk to you about depreciation. What is depreciation? Well, let's explain it. Let's simplify it for you. If you are a non-accountant, probably you will still have heard of depreciation. And I wouldn't be surprised if you've heard of it in relation to possibly purchasing a car. If you've ever bought a new car, you know what they'll say to you. They'll say that as soon as you take it out of the garage, you're going to lose so much money in depreciation. But depreciation is not only when you purchase a car. Depreciation is the accounting term you would use any time that you purchase what in accounting terms we would call a fixed asset a purchase of a more expensive item that is going to have value in your business for more than a year. A recent video I created was for Rugs by Rosie. In her business, she purchased a laptop. Now she started off by treating that as an expense in her business. And we spoke about how that wasn't the correct accounting treatment. There are two main reports in accounting. We have a profit and loss account, sometimes referred to as an income statement and a balance sheet. Profit and loss account is easier for the non-accountants to understand. It's a report that shows you for any specific period in time, your sales for the period, your expenses, and then hopefully your profit for that period. The second report, a balance sheet, is sometimes a little bit more confusing for the non-accountants. A balance sheet is a snapshot at any point in time of the value of your business, the net assets of your business. So we look at the assets of your business, less the liabilities, giving you what the value of your business is at any point in time. So let's talk about the purchase of this laptop and the depreciation in relation to your profit and loss account and your balance sheet. So we have decided that the laptop purchase is a fixed asset. What we want to do is we want to look at how long we expect this asset to last in our business and for the laptop, we have determined that it's going to last for four years. So depreciation, we want to allocate the cost of the asset over its useful life of four years. So first of all, what happens at the point of purchase of the fixed asset? Well, there's no profit or loss, but what we have are two changes on our balance sheet. Our assets have increased, the fixed assets have increased by the value of the laptop, the 1200 pounds, and our cash, if we've paid for it, has reduced, our asset of cash has reduced by the same amount, the 1200 pounds. Okay, now we want to allocate the cost over its useful life and let's look at the first year that we own the laptop. There are various methods of calculating depreciation. The easiest one is called the straight line method. So we would take the cost of the asset, in this case, 1200 pounds, the amount of time it's going to last in the business, so four years. So our depreciation is a very straightforward calculation it's going to be 1,200 pounds divided by four years, so it's 300 pounds each year. If you were looking at your profit and loss monthly, you divide that again by 12, and it'd be 25 pounds depreciation per month. Another method you can use is called the reducing balance method. Now you might think that realistically, depreciation is going to be higher at the start. So in this case, you would say, we'll still depreciate it at 25%, but reduce in balance. So what would happen this time, you have your 1200 pound asset, if you reduce it in the first year by depreciation of 300, and then you're left with what we call a net book value of 900 pounds. If you were using the straight line method in year two, you do exactly the same, further depreciation of 300, net book value at the end of year two, 600 pounds. If you went for the reduce and balance method, what you would do then is you would look at the net book value at the end of year one, which is 900 pounds, and this time your depreciation would be 25% of that value, so slightly lower depreciation at 225 pounds. 
So here's the impact on our financial statements for year one. If we go to the profit and loss account, we're going to have a depreciation expense of £300. And then when we go to the balance sheet, we're going to have the purchase of our laptop at £1,200, less the depreciation of £300, and a net book value for our asset at £900 at the end of year one. So that is a simplified explanation of what depreciation is. It's not a cash cost to the business, but it's allocating the cost of your fixed asset over its useful life. I hope you find that useful. I hope it made sense. If you liked the video, please let me know that you liked it. Why don't you subscribe to the channel so you'll get notified when new videos are uploaded on a regular basis. I would love to hear what you would like to see on the channel. If you want me to continue with zero videos or if you like some more of these accounting simplified videos.